made this clip really short, right? Okay, so to Jaden, to the ear, nose, and throat doctor today, main thing, he's going to get tubes put in his ear. They're going to call us, let us know how much it's going to be, and a date that we can schedule that. So what they said is that for kids, until they're like six years old, their ear canal is not the same, um, the one that's, the part that's behind the eardrum, right? Um, is not the same as once you're six, it starts to slant like this. But as you are younger, it's like more in a straight line, which causes fluid to build up. So antibiotic that you're given for ear infection does not clear out the liquid most of the time, but it does clear up the infection. So the problem with him clears the infection up. That's why he feels fine for a little while. And then the liquid or fluid is still back there. So then he gets sick again, gets another ear infection. So yeah, that's the main thing. He's going to get that in. Once that's done, we follow up um, two weeks later after they put the tubes in and then six months after that, and the tubes will eventually push out of his ear as he continues to grow. So they're not permanent. And they said it's just a small incision, like by his eardrum or something like that. And he'll only be under for 15 minutes. That worries me, but just pray to God, you know, um, Ari had tubes put in her ears when she was younger and it was fine. I don't think she was one like Jaden is, but I'm pretty sure she was like older when she got the tubes put in her ears, but he, he just keeps getting so many ear infections. They want to do it now. So that's all I wanted to, um, let you guys know this morning. I took him on my own being pregnant, taking him on my own. He's running around and he had a little cold. It was hectic. So next time, either my mom has to go with me or JJ has to be here when we go because it needs to be two of us. I, well, it can't just be me going by myself because I'm just going to get bigger and bigger, you know? I'm not going to be able to run around. I had to pick him up to get him upstairs because the thing was upstairs first. <sighs> this clip turned long. So the place that we went to, right? The building has the doors to each office. It's a medical center, whatever. But all the doors are outside to each of the offices, right? The ear, nose, and throat doctor is on the second floor. Now, there's signs showing that there's elevators, right? And you would assume that the whole square or rectangle of offices are connected like via a hallway or something. So it wouldn't matter which elevator I took wrong. I took the elevator on the right, went up, realized it's just a hall that's this way and this way. It does not connect to the other side. So I had to run down the stairs with him. So I had to pick him up, go down the stairs with him, carry him over to get to the next elevator. Got on that elevator. I put him down. Then we got up to the correct side and went in. It was crazy. Like I said, can't go by myself next time. All right. Oh, it's the movie I'm watching. I decided I'm going to just fold up my clothes. Well, our clothes that I washed yesterday while I probably do Jaden's clothes first. Then my husband and I's clothes while I watch Smile over here. I don't know why I decided to put on this creepy movie, but that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let me ha. fold the Jaden's clothes, but I'm not going to fold our clothes yet. I'm going to go ahead and start on making the invitation for the gender reveal so that I could go ahead and send it out this week. It's already February 6th. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and send it out so everyone will know. Well, everyone that's going to be privileged to the gender reveal will know that I'm having a baby. Uh, 
that we're having a baby. So I just go on Canva. Canva. And I'm gonna look for a, a template for a gender reveal. So I'm just gonna type it in the search thing to see what kind of gender reveal invitations they have. Oh, they have a lot. Cause I made the, uh, the gender reveal invitation that we had for our first gender reveal. I made it, I think on one of those websites where you can like see who's all attending and stuff. This time, I'm not doing all of that for the gender reveal. I'm just going to literally send out the invitation after I'm done making it, download it on here, um, download it from off of here after I'm done editing it, and then I'm going to just text it to people because most of the people that I'm in inviting um, in person and virtually have text message. And then there's Facebook groups that I made for both sides of my family my mom and my dad's side. So I'm gonna just take the invitation, upload it on those Facebook groups there for them to look through Zoom. Cause I think I'm gonna make a Zoom link again like I did for our families. Um, so for the ones that's not gonna be here. Cause I personally do not want a lot of people at the house. It's, it's a house, it's, it's pretty decent size, but I don't want like 50 million cars parked outside on the street in front of people, other people's houses we renting. Don't want to cause problems so i'm thinking like 25 people at the most at our actual house and then other than that virtual everyone else especially people that don't live in in town they don't got to travel for the gender reveal if they want to travel for the baby shower that's fine but not for the gender reveal so they got some pretty cute like options on here that I can choose from and since I'm a pro member I can choose one of the pro member invitation templates which is great I already see two that I really like I'll end up showing you guys probably a picture of what the invitation look like for the virtual one since the one that's not gonna have the virtual stuff on it will have our actual address but I'll show you guys probably the one for the virtual one since I won't show our address, then you'll get a, a look at what we chose. All right. All right, don't know if I said this already, but I wanted to make some Valentine's baskets for my mom, JJ, and JD. So I picked up stuff from Walmart and Dollar Tree to try and help me make the little basket I didn't really buy baskets per se to put this stuff in um but we're gonna call them baskets see the, the little balloons I got from Dollar Tree um like I said I've never made a basket before so I don't even know how this is gonna turn out I just wanted to do something cute but at the same time not that expensive because Another baby on the way. We're not trying to break the bank on everything, you know. Um, keeping it light. And anyways, you know, I, I feel like you shouldn't just show your love on Valentine's Day, which we don't just show our love on Valentine's Day, which is why. Valentine's Day don't need to be ridiculously expensive, okay? Anyways, so, got from... Dollar, oh jeez, Dollar Tree, this fake rose here, and another fake rose here. I don't know if I'm going to put one in JJ's and one in my mom's, hence why I got one pink one, because she loves um, pink and she loves purple. Then I got these two candy sticks, got Still from Dollar Tree, Candy Heart, and it's Happy Heart Day on that one. Another Candy Heart. This one says, "What you make my heart jump." 
Okay, that would obviously go to JJ's. And also, I saw these to put in my mom's. It's just, you know, something fun. It's all out of Dollar Tree. And then Dollar Tree had this two pack of the buckets. So, not necessarily a basket, definitely a bucket thing gonna be going on. So, there's that. And then out of, oh, then again, the balloons, right? Out of Dollar Tree. And also out of Dollar Tree, we have cards. Okay. Multiple cards. So one for my husband, for me. And then one for my husband from our son. And then one for my mother from Jaden, our son. <laughs> and then one for Jaden from me and JJ. And then one for my mom from me. Okay, so I got cards for them. I know Jaden can't read the cards, but you know. And moving on to Walmart stuff, I got more candy. Okay, so one for JJ, JJ, one for my mom. And then you see it got the purple frog at the top. Ha -ha! And then a bear for, uh, is that one for Jaden? One for JJ. Okay, I think that one's for Jaden. That one purple one obviously is for my mom. This wine cup for my mom. It says all you need is love and wine. This for Jaden. Little candy heart lollipops. And then teddy bear for I don't know which one I picked for Jaden and which one I picked for JJ because they both like blue. This is like a light blue and then our turquoise, then true blue. So I might give the true blue to JJ and then this turquoise blue to Jaden. Um, pin for my mom's basket, beads from the mom's basket. And then I'm going back to the store over the weekend. I'm going to be by five and below. So I'm going to see if I can get more stuff to put in JJ's, obviously. This thing for Jaden. He likes those. I got a pack full of bubbles. So I'll probably give him the two blue ones, yellow and the red. Not the pink ones. Um, Just because not the pink ones. He likes those other colors a lot. These are the main colors he focuses on when he's calling out colors, actually. So, then I got him this book, How Do Lions Say I Love You, from Walmart. And then, last but not least, this is another box thing to put the Valentines in. Do I know what Valentines is going in which box or which basket thing? Not yet, because... I got to see how I'm going to line it up because, okay, so one, I've seen ideas like from Pinterest and stuff. I got to pee. <sighs> I've seen ideas from like Pinterest and stuff of uh, y'all ever seen those sticks, the wooden, what in the word? Sorry. <laughs> I'll be getting distracted. Y'all ever seen those wooden sticks and then they're literally like wooden I don't know what to call them. I'll put it on the screen right here once I look it up to put it in the blog. But um, you could tape like the candy on it so that the candy will like hover and you could like line things up how you want in that basket. Because some of that stuff, I don't think everything is going to fit in there all together unless I do some feng shui like that, like put stuff on a stick so it could stick out or hover over other objects. It won't just fit in there with me shoving things in there together. And then maybe I need some styrofoam um, to put at the bottom to hold it up. I am missing something. I just thought about it. Where is, because I had bought some, oh, this. I left this out. The paper, the tissue paper. That's to decorate. You know, the bottom part. Like, I know. I had some tissue paper. This was out of Dollar Tree. 
too. And Dollar Tree had like the the confetti. I don't think I ended up buying the confetti. I was gonna buy it, but then I was like, that might make too much of a mess, and who's gonna clean that up? Um, but I think for basically for my mom and Jaden's baskets, that's pretty much done. It's more so of JJ's baskets because basically all I've gotten him so far is candy and the teddy bear and the rose. So we'll see what Five Below has. And I'll be over by Party City as well because I'm going to look for baby shower, not baby shower stuff, gender reveal decorations besides the one that, um, thanks, shout out to my mom's co-worker, Laura, for, I think it was Laura, for letting us hold some of the gender reveal stuff that she had already to use so that way we don't got to buy a bunch of extra stuff, so shout out to her. But I'm going to go there to see other stuff that I can buy in addition to that and also look at some of the stuff for Jaden's birthday party which is not until August but preparing now would be way better than preparing then because the baby's due very close to his birthday month so you know to avoid having to rush around get stuff for his birthday party have all this money to do 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 do, do spread it out Get his birthday stuff i'll reveal the um theme of his birthday party if i haven't already i'll reveal it later on once i'm preparing because i'll probably make a whole separate video about this is the items i bought da, 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 da. you know all right we in party city and look here was the toy story stuff yeah. they got different stuff for different birthday themes he has a balloon we're in old navy Going for his nana, she's checking out. She's over there checking out. Look at the balloon he got from Party City. Mm -hmm. 